So let's start off at home.html inside of the pages and home folder. I'm gonna change the ion title, so this is the title for our navbar, to shopping list. I'm going to add the color equal to primary inside of our home.html navbar, and this will set the navbar color to be blue. We should then be able to see the results of this here on screen to the right. And the next thing I'd like to do is give us the ability to navigate to an ad shopping item page. So the way that I'm going to do this is by adding an ion buttons element to our navbar. I'm going to place these buttons at the end and we'll add a button inside, which has the ion dash button attribute. And inside of the button, it has an ion dash icon. And the name of the icon is add. Notice how we now have this plus button on our navbar. What we then need to do is create a new page. Creating a new page is relatively easy. All we have to do at this point is say Ionic generates page and the page that I want to create is going to be called add shopping item. Once that is completed, you should see generated a page named add shopping item. And we can then subsequently head over to our home.html once again, and this time add a nav push equal to add shopping item page. This is a declarative way of telling Ionic that we want to go to the add shopping item page. So let's select the button and we are then navigated. Now you may find that when you click the button, instead of navigating to this page, you get an error. There could be a few reasons for this error. And that's because potentially the name ad shopping item page does not match up to the class. So it has to match up to this TypeScript class here of the page that you generated. Or you may need to restart Ionic Lab. If you've done both of these things, ensure that you have an Ionic page decorator above your component and your page has a module file. That module file should be seeing Ionic page module dot for child and passing through that particular page. If you're still getting an error after all of that, don't hesitate to get in touch and I'll see what I can do to give you a hand. So in the next lecture, we're going to look at this add shopping item page. We're going to change the color of the navbar to be blue. We're going to add a nice fancy title and some form elements that allow us to communicate with our database. So that's all coming up in the next lecture.